Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I'm Yavi Prajesh again from Chandra Honda Two Wheeler Showroom today in Coimbatore, and I'm here with the brand new special Repsol editions of the brand new BS6 Hornet 2.0 and the Dio BS6 commuter scooter. Inspired by Honda's racing legacy with the alliance of Repsol, Honda India has introduced this special edition paint job on their best-selling Hornet 2.0 and the Dio BS6. First, let's start with the Dio BS6. The Honda Dio is currently one among the sharpest looking commuter scooters in the Indian market and it is also easily one among the best sellers for Honda India. Despite the fact that these special editions are merely cosmetic updates, the Honda Dio on the other hand offers a few additional features over the standard variant. Inspired by Honda's racing bikes, both these commuters get the orange, white and red paint job which looks really good on both of them. In terms of general features, the Honda Dio does not get any sort of updates. However, the attention to detail on the paint job is exceptionally good. The Repsol branding has been given the maximum importance when compared to the standard very small Dio badging. Exclusively only on the Repsol edition, the Honda Dio gets these orange alloy wheels, while the regular standard and the DLX variants do not get alloy wheels at all. The overall design remains exactly the same, including the headlamps, tail lamps, the mudguard, suspension and the engine. Talking about the engine, the Honda Dio just like before gets the very same 110cc air-cooled spark ignition engine which produces 8 bhp of maximum power and 8.91 Nm of maximum torque. All variants of the Honda Dio get this digital instrument cluster which also includes the range, average fuel economy and trip meters. Along with the headlamp controls, the Honda Dio also gets a pass light with the turn indicator and the horn placed on the left side. And on the right side of the handlebar, you can also see the engine kill switch on the Honda Dio. Just like the regular Honda Dio, you would have to turn off the ignition to open the seat or the petrol tank using the switch on the apron. The Honda Dio now gets an external fuel filler cap, which is really easy to access, and the fuel tank capacity is 5.3 liters. The under seat storage is also pretty generous and can easily hold a full size helmet. However, no charging port or illumination is provided. Accessories available for the Honda Dio includes a side stand with engine cutoff function, a side foot rest, luggage hooks, footboard mat and body protection bumper railings. And yes, the Honda Dio DLX and this Repsol edition get LED headlamps as standard. Now let's take a look at the BSX compliant Honda Hornet 2.0 Repsol edition. And while the standard specifications remain exactly the same, it is the cosmetic changes and this paint job which completely transforms the look of the Hornet 2.0. You get standard LED headlamps along with front and rear disc brakes. Here too you can see the bright orange paint job on the large alloy wheels. However, single channel ABS is available only for the front disc. Now talking about the paint job, the rather sharp design of the Hornet 2.0 really complements this racing inspired paint job. And here too, the Repsol branding is given more importance than the vehicle's badging. The Hornet 2.0 comes with a 185cc air-cooled fuel-injected engine which produces 17 horsepower and 16.1 newton meters of torque through a 5-speed wet-clutch transmission. The muffler tip is given the matte black treatment and the tires get a rather cool-looking tread pattern inspired by racing bikes. That said, there is no change on the mud flap and the tail lighting and this Hornet Repsol edition is a rather handsome looking commuter bike. Similar to the regular Hornet 2.0, this special edition also gets an all-digital instrument cluster while also getting a hazard switch on the right side of the handlebar. All the controls and switches are of standard hard-wearing quality. However, the full digital instrument cluster is the highlight over here. The instrument gauge also includes a gear shift indicator while also getting trip meters and volt meter. There is also a neutral indicator along with the ABS warning included just below the instrument cluster. The fuel tank is of a 12 liter capacity, which is more than double the size of the Honda Dio's. Along with the headlamps, the Hornet 2.0 also gets LED turn indicator blinkers along with the monoshock rear suspension. The side sari guard, however, is an additional accessory along with the side stand. All variants of the Honda Hornet 2.0 get these golden finished upside down front shock absorbers, which looks really good. You can see that the front wheel hugger on both these two wheelers are finished in glossy black. So that was all about the special Repsol editions of both these best-selling commuter motorcycles from Honda and even though they are just cosmetic updates, both these two wheelers look actually really very good, inspired by the racing legacy of Honda. The additional cost for these cosmetic updates isn't too much either. The Honda Dio Repsol edition is priced at Rs 73,000 ex showroom, which is just around Rs 3,000 more than the DLX variant. 
and in addition to this rather stunning looking paint job you also get alloy wheels the hornet 2.0 repsol edition on the other hand is priced at rupees 1,32,000 ex showroom which is just rupees 2,000 more than the standard variant so if you want your honda hornet 2.0 or your doba6 to look cool you can easily opt for these special paint jobs meanwhile this is viprajesh signing off see you on another video thank you for watching